Oh my god! Who's moving? Who's touching the doll? It looks like a scene from a horror movie. Hundreds of dolls strung up and hanging from trees. He said he was frightened at night. He said he also saw shadows. He heard strange noises. He could no longer be at ease in his own home. But there's actually footage of this doll moving on its own. Slayerona. Oh my god, no. This doll is probably possessed. We are currently floating through the canals of Xochimilco, just outside of Mexico City. We're on our way to the Isla de los Muñecas, better known in English as the Island of the Dolls. Guys, I actually can't believe we made it back here. I mean, me and Amy love Mexico, but definitely a bit of a trek. More so than we're used to on this channel these days. It's not like you can just drive up to this venue, you actually have to get a boat, so it's insanely adventurous. These waterways are very historic with links to the Aztecs. They're also very beautiful and tranquil, but I know where we're going is like pure nightmare fuel. An island filled with decapitated, dismembered, freaky ass dolls, and it's haunted as I must admit, I am enjoying the tranquil nature of this boat ride right now because I made the mistake of renting a car to drive in Mexico City and the traffic is crazy. Probably the hardest city I've ever had to drive in. So I don't know what's more scary, that or the island we're about to go to. This is not our first visit to the island. We went about six years ago, but this is our first chance to actually investigate the paranormal claims of this place. And there are so many, so stay tuned. Mexico's island of the dolls, the Isla de las Muñecas, a place so horrific it seems it should only exist in one's deepest nightmares. But alas, this derelict island covered in thousands of disfigured dolls is as real as they come. Dating back to Aztec times, the canals of Xochimilco are already historic. So how did they come to house one of the most haunted places in the world, the island of the dolls? Welcome to the original doll island. The story begins with Don Julian Santana. Don Julian is the person you can see in this photograph. He was the former owner of this chinampa. He lived and worked here. He was dedicated to growing all kinds of vegetables and flowers to sell in the markets. That was the daily life of Don Julian. He was a normal farmer. But he tells that one day in 1950, when he arrived here at his home, he found the body of a girl at the entrance of this chinampa. He tries to rescue her. Unfortunately, he's unable to. The girl drowned. This marked Don Julian's life, so much so that he believed that this little girl followed him in death. He said he was frightened at night. He said he also saw shadows. He heard strange noises. He could no longer be at ease in his own home. Many times people ask, why does this story make the Doll Island so famous? And to answer this, I'd like to ask visitors, put yourself in Don Julian's shoes. What would you have done in his case? What would you have done if when arriving home, you opened the door of your home and found the body of a little girl lying there? You try to save her but can't. What would you have done with a dead body if it was found in your living room, your dining room, your kitchen? What would you do? What would you think? Don Julian mentions that he could no longer stand living here. One day he was in his canoe in the canal and in the distance he saw a doll. He simply likes the doll. He didn't think it would help him. The days passed and curiously he felt calmer. And uh, he thinks at that moment that it was this doll that helped him to feel more at ease. So he began to place more and more dolls. He collected them from the canal and from the garbage because he believed that they frightened the girl's spirit. The uglier the dolls, the more they scare away the spirits. The popular belief that people have is that the island is inhabited by ghosts, that the toys are for children to play with, the spirit of children to play with, or things like that. And the truth is that no, what Don Julian least wanted in his home was to have spirits. And in fact, the doll I'm telling you about does exist. The first doll that Don Julian collects during his lifetime is the little doll with the crown of yellow flowers that can be seen in the background. It is the first doll that Don Julian collects and it is the first one that starts this legend of the doll island. But there is a second, even more important one in the entire Chinampa. Because Don Julian was a day and night worker, he never had a family. He was never able to materialize something like a wife, nor could he ever have children. So, one August 28th, a day of San Agustin, he goes on the canal 
canal and in the distance he sees a very special, very beautiful doll. He picks her up and takes a tremendous liking to her. He even went so far as to say that it was alive, that it was his own daughter. And it is the one we have here with the green dress. Her name is Agustinita. It is the most important because it is the only one with a name and even visitors, when they meet it, see something special in it. They see in it something like magic. Why? Because they make wishes. They even ask her to cleanse them of bad vibes. Even in front of her, there is a basket full of things. These are things that people leave as an offering to Agustinita to ask her for wishes. Now it really depends on the mentality of each person and the faith that each one comes with. Don Julian's life would be dedicated to collecting dolls and displaying them around the island. And today, the tradition continues with visitors still bringing offerings. Yet the story does become more insidious knowing that Don Julian would himself pass away on the island, being found face down in the water in the exact same place where he had discovered the little girl's body many years earlier. Some say the island is a collector of human souls and not just dolls, with rumors of dead babies continuing to wash ashore and a documented body found at the island just months prior to our visit. It's no wonder why many report feelings of unease and sighting shadow figures on the island, but also claim to hear dolls talk on their own despite carrying no batteries, move around unnaturally, and even cry real tears. Tonight, we will investigate the many paranormal claims surrounding the island of the dolls, only to find connections to other paranormal folklore in the area and capture glimpses of truly unexplainable activity that is sure to keep you awake at night. And right as we were about to roll our cameras, the local animals of the canals went crazy, so it really did feel like a good time to begin. So if you're ready to take on the island of the dolls of us, hit like, subscribe, and let's jump into the investigation. Rolling sound check. Rolling sound check. Isla de los Muñecas. We are here. It is dark. It is creepy as all heck. And we thought, you know what, grab cameras roll because there are dogs all through these canals that all just started barking for some reason. I have no idea why. Yeah, they weren't barking earlier when we did our Patreon video, were they? I don't think. It just started just now as we're about to roll. It's really freaking unsettling. <laughs> Oh my god and like literally every square inch of this whole island is covered in dolls this one for instance headless this one armless another headless just mickey mouse <laughs> what's that ominous like noise as well that's like real haunted house <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah that creaking <laughs> actually having said that not many people come here at night do they no i was trying to look on youtube for videos today and i'm like not a lot of people have been here at night to investigate, so it's good. I think that was good for us. And? This light has just died. Light's just died? It's just died. Look, one light. This should be like four. First power drain of the night. And the okay. wind just picked up. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? I can't say this was paranormal, but my light's battery had just jumped down from 100% to 25% within minutes of turning it on. So we rushed to change the light and continue our investigation in case it meant something had just stolen energy to use for itself. See? Brand new. Four lights fully charged. And I made sure everything was fully charged, so I don't know. Weird. All right, we're back in business, folks. Let's resume. Because it just, there's weird vibes going on. Ghost tube is now rolling. Crack and open the ghost tube. I'm going to take you all to the first area of interest. I really, really want to show you this. Oh my god, it is pitch black. I cannot see a thing. Ah! <laughs> okay, terrifying. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I did the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, though. This was where Julian Santana Barrera found the little girl. There is... Oh my god. I don't know if it's just like all the tacos I've eaten or that I'm really scared, but I feel like I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> Amy! <laughs> I'm Ew. so scared. Anyway. I said, am I a ghost? Am I a ghost? Yeah. I, actually, yeah, you, you're probably a ghost. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you know that? By the way, because like, we just got our first word and it did say it in Spanish first, I just want to mention that we're going to be using the Spanish dictionary tonight. I'm going to be trying to translate anything Amy asks. So she'll ask things in English. You might hear me say in Spanish shortly after. So we're trying to translate for the ghosts. But this is where Julian Santana Barrera found the body of the little girl. And many years later, his own body was also found dead here. So this is like the memorial site left to them. So this is where also, you know, the first dolls were found in the water. And the water is just here. 
Yeah, you can't sit in the dark, but behind this bamboo stick fence, there is water. Water. Watch you. Oh, f <laughs> I feel like it's been pretty interactive so far. <laughs> we haven't really got started telling the stories yet. Hola. Hola. Mi nombre es Amy. Mi nombre is Jared. My name is Jared. My name is Amy. Okay, we are going to go and find those dolls now. The most significant dolls, the first ones found here in the canals. Lead the way, Jared. Ooh, las muñecas asininas. I don't know what that oh, means. Something else just touched my head. I think it was the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> We're now moving over to a little shrine that's been set up on the island. <sighs> Ooh. Oh yeah, this is the one. Oh. And why is there an eagle head right at the entry? Oh, I didn't even notice that today. Oh God. Also, this room has the most vibes on the island. I'm, sh I'm sure of it. Join us. Did it just say join us? Yes. <laughs> Did it say it in the Spanish first? It's saying the Spanish, it's just saying it quietly and then it says the English loud. These responses are selected in Spanish join us. That is kind of creepy because, you know, the whole story, the little girl is found and then... Gracias. Okay, interesting. It's like the little girl was found and then Julian joined her later. It's like maybe they're collecting more souls. We're also told today the most recent death and the most recent body found here was last year, 2023 October. Yeah, that's pretty recent. Our guide also told us today they found, you know, babies and fetuses and, and things around the island that they don't know where they've come from. So it's not just like the most prominent two bodies, Julian and the little girl. There's a lot of death soaked in these canals. So this is our first doll here, right? This is the first one, yep. Augustina or Augustino? Augustina. Um, I think that's because she was found in August. She was essentially Julian's... Girl, okay. She is a girl. We're just talking about the little girl. You know, you know what else? You were just about to say that this doll was very special to that man, and that yeah. he used to treat this like his daughter because he had no family, right? Could that be relevant? Like chica, like girl, his daughter. For sure, because yeah, he lived on the island alone, so he was a bit of a recluse. He had no one here to talk to, so he just had this this doll. And I feel like because of that, this, this doll retains the most energy related to Julian. But the OG doll is not this one. The OG one's over here. So does this one have a name? Well, she's OG, right? That is one old doll. What's this, like 50 years old at least? Yeah, this was the first doll recovered from the waters here. Man. So we get girl, man. That's like almost telling the story. The little girl found by girl the man. man. Or describing me, maybe? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Oh, oh that's right. It's just flowers. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So that was the first doll ever recovered and found just after the little girl's body. So it was strung up on the island so to sort of appease her spirit, help her um, soul be saved. It's like, there's a lot of theories as to why the doll got strung up, but that's why there's so many dolls here today. That one sort of started it all. And we bought some offerings for the little girl, didn't we? Did we bring them? Did you pack them? I packed them, yes. You're supposed to bring a doll to Doll Island, Jared. Don't you know these things? So what did you bring, Jared? Good timing. Hear a big bang? Yeah. <laughs> Hope that was a firework. I picked this doll. Why? Because we were walking through the shops and I was playing with it. So it makes noises when you squeeze its hand and stuff like that. And it called me puppy. <laughs> and it made that noise. <laughs> But hang on. Bobby. Bobby, yeah. Call me puppy. So I was like, oh, so that's why I picked that one. What did you pick? I found a daddy o doll. Daddy o doll! So that's the same toy we used. Did you just touch it? I'm holding it. Put it down. <laughs> Put it. <laughs> I was holding it. I didn't squeeze its hand, I was holding its leg. Anyway, I got the daddy o doll. You probably remember this from episodes such as the Sally House. Oh. Daddy. <sighs> what the heck? That is really Sally. creepy. Ugh. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get that because that was scary as frick when that went off in the Sally House for us. And I'm pretty sure this one's Spanish. <laughs> A 
Arriba. <laughs> All right, Daddy O, you're going off for now. We'll use you later. The Daddy O doll is cool though because it's like a glorified cat ball. Like it, it will light up when it is shaken or moved. So maybe we can leave it somewhere later as like a trigger object and see if we get interaction. Yeah, so if anyone here can hear my voice, these gifts are for you and we'll play with you a bit later. So before we go too far, there is a doll here that I know has moved on its own and it is so, so scary. And it's not just scary because it looks like this, but there's actually footage of this doll moving on its own and I have a little bit of a snippet for it. I didn't film it great, but you can definitely see this doll just like goes for it. Oh, there's also a scrying mirror here too, Ames. Oh, it's a bit dirty though. You might not be able to see too much in it. But and still... look how it's framed in baby heads. Come yeah, on. <laughs> it's a bit freaky. And there's a skull over here too. Creepy. We're now moving over to a place that is quite special and has an absolutely terrifying doll story. Number 13. Lucky for some. <laughs> Unlucky for others. Hola. Oh God, there's definitely spiders in here for sure. Yep, they're gonna be here. We're Australian. Come on, Jared, you can do this. <laughs> I encountered a brown snake the other week before we left here. Yeah, so I'm sure you can deal with the Mexican spiders for one night. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> this doll in the corner, though. <gasps> Sorry, that was me. Oh. This doll in the corner, though, is definitely... Lost. Lost. Is that what you were gonna say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say terrifying and there's a story to go with this doll, but Lost is sort of interesting. It's like... Well, maybe like the spirits here, they just sort of washed up on shore, right? Like maybe they're doomed to wander around these, these islands. I don't know. Yeah, and I feel like this is sort of a beacon. Like this attracts the spirits from the canals, the waterways, Frizochi Milko. And... Oh my God. It's just spinning near my head. <laughs> I'm not even like, I don't, wouldn't even say I'm that scared of dolls, but this is really, really creeping me out. Just seeing them in night vision, Jared, oh my god. So what about this doll though? This doll, like so many here are claimed to be, is probably possessed. A lady bought this doll in because her kid was having trouble with it, saying that it was dancing around on its own. She put it to the island to get rid of it, I guess, and keep the soul here and away from her family, protect her family. But this doll has since been recorded crying, like the noise of it, but also its eyes turning red and having actual tears coming out. And I have a little bit of footage of that as well. And you can see the complete color change of the eye. So you guys seen how red and teary that eye looked? This is just what it normally looks like. Normal, blue, not teary, not crying. But this room actually is where Julian slept. This is his living quarters. And you might look around and think, oh, this is a, a tiny, tiny room. But he lived here in solitude. So he was here by himself and this was all he needed. Him and his doll, Augustina, who he spoke to a lot. Now he's just inherited a lot of other little babies. A lot of babies. <laughs> May I just be something flapping in the wind, but I swear I just said footsteps out here then as well. I'm hearing it too. <laughs> In this moment, we had both heard noises from outside the hut. These can be heard best from our wide angle camera positioned away from us, but we cannot say for sure what caused them. It could have been an animal or just wind noise through some of the plastic on display across the island, although it does sound eerily like footsteps. Maybe it's just those things flapping in the wind. I don't know. Where's the next place? Um. Find me. You're like, where's the next place? And then it says, find, find me. me. Where are you? <laughs> Where is the next place? Okay, we'll come and find you. That's sort of like playful as well. A little kid spirit, spirit or something. I don't know. I think that's our first playful word for tonight. Yeah, we haven't had any other playful <gasps> words, have we? Also, lost, find me. Ooh, yeah, I didn't think of that. So are we playing a game of hide and seek here? Well, there's not much room to hide in this room. Yeah. Are you hiding in a moniacas? Uh, well, I was going to suggest we go to the um, the other hut. Yeah, let's go for a walk and try and find them. This would not be the first time we've played hide and seek with spirits before. We've played games like this before. But oh dear God. What? <laughs> Why is this little tiger just spinning? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, is there life after death? That's what we're here to find out. 
Here, we decided to move to a different area of the island, and as Jared was repositioning our wide-angle camera, something caught my eye that looked a little bit suspicious. I'm just making note, Jared just moved, this might, may or may not be in the video, Jared just moved our third party angle camera down there where you can see the glowing light, and I swear there was an extra shadow, shadow people are common here. It looked like there was two people, not one, like an extra shadow of yours. I need to review it for like trick of light next though. to me or behind me? following you, I don't know, it moved quite quickly. I wasn't heaps paying attention though, so I'm just noting for myself while editing. This is the piece of footage that had just caught my eye. Taking another look, I don't believe it is paranormal, as Jared is holding multiple light sources and the shadow of interest tracks along as being cast from him. We are coming to find you. Vamos a Pascate. What's wrong? I just heard a, I swear I heard a little girl scream. I can hear dogs out there, yes, but I thought I heard a little girl scream and then it says lower your voice. I don't know what audio is going to sound like because it's quite windy out here. Here, I thought I had heard a child scream, which is relevant to the island, but right after, we also got the response of lower your voice, which could also be relevant to a scream. Unfortunately, the audio is quite contaminated from being outside, yet a faint scream can just be heard. It was this way. Where are you? Hola. Donde estas? Where are you? A baby's booty spinning around. That ass. Oh, he's got a battery pack though. Oh my God. This is definitely creepy. Oh, why are a lot of them missing limbs and stuff? They're all deformed. No, but this one's a bit, well, that one doesn't want to be seen. Uh, if you're playing hide and seek, you would be hiding in there for sure. Do you know what room this is? We do. We do. Hola. Hola. Oh my god. <laughs> light. 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 I can see light. our light. Should I turn it off? <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. I don't have any light on my camera. Oh, I've got a bit of night vision now. You get attacked by bugs, Ames? Yeah, there's a bug. Oh my god. I put bug spray on though, so hopefully they don't bite me. Do you not like the light? Maybe they do like the light or they can just see us. Do you hear a tapping then? It's... What is that? That's the waterway out there, behind that fence. I've got no idea what that is. All I know about this place is there was some kind of witchcraft done in here. That's not necessarily something that the people of this island want done here though. I guess there's enough paranormal activity, enough weird stuff going on, enough weird energy. But people have come here and done some kind of witchcraft here. They don't really allow it though. That's all I know about this room. That's all I can say. You get any vibes? I feel like I get less vibes in here than the room with the shrine yeah. and the other dolls. Maybe it's because there's less dolls though. I don't know. I'm just saying the shrine definitely has the most energy for, for me. Can I just take a moment though, because we're playing hide and seek, to ask a few questions in Spanish, is that okay? Yeah, do it. Can you touch one of us? ¿Puedes tocar una de nosotros? Can you touch one of us? My Spanish is probably terrible. <gasps> Play. Uh, sí. Sí. Si, sí, um, por favor. Yes, please. <laughs> Vamos a Pascate, we're coming to find you. Donde estas, where are you? That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a niña aquí. A girl here. Is this a good island or a bad one? Es esto una isla buena o mala? It just said trapped, touch. I do feel like that <gasps> can't... Did you move that doll head behind you? You must have touched that, right? I don't remember. Can you check the third party camera angle? Maybe I did. Um, I just seen someone swinging behind you. <laughs> I'm, I must have, surely. Just for the record, Jared did smack into the dangling doll head, although she had been swinging about before this incident anyway. Can I just say though, 
that those words play and touch I feel like were relevant because I actually did say can you touch one of us I feel like two sentences before and then I said we're coming to find you where are you and then it said play so another playful word so I thought that was actually pretty good this whole this has been such a weird night and we were only just getting started I heard a little squeak then as well. Yeah. It sounded like a beep almost as well. Like, I don't know. Started. 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 I feel like things are picking up and it's getting windier as well and the dogs are going crazy, so I don't know. Let's go. Let's do the first experiment. We now made our way back to the area where the shrine to the island's most significant dolls lies. Here, we set up to perform an SD session which saw Jared wear noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relaying anything he heard come through, while I asked questions he could not hear. Additionally, he would enter the sensory deprived virtual environment of Ghost 2 Blends to digitally scry white noise, which helps to further induce a trance like state. But he also had Ghost Tube Seer running, which could show images based off of environmental readings interpreted by AI. If you'd like to try out Ghost 2 Blends for yourself, check the links below. But now, let's jump into investigating. You ready, Jared? Yep, I'm ready. I'm a little bit freaked out that you're gonna go under, which always feels like you leave me alone because this REM pod's been going nuts. <gasps> yeah, even when you went to go get some of the other equipment, it was going off while I was setting up here. That's just great. So it definitely wasn't us walking around. Okay, you ready? Yep, so I've got a phone for translations. Okay, I'm recording. Ready. Hola. Mi nombre es Amy. My name is Amy. Three. Or three. Three. Is that how many of you are here? Hello. Hola. Puedes hablar con nosotros? Can you talk to us? Most of them. Most of them? Can the dolls talk to us? Muñecas? This moment was curious, as we have an obvious language barrier here, yet the response of most of them seems to indicate there are multiple spirits here that could talk to us. Chica, Mexico. That's girl, Mexico. Vamos. That means move fast, I think. Buenos. Good. Por favor. Danos un señal de que estás aquí. Please give us a sign you're here. Veramos. Maybe you can come up to a light, a red light, like this, like you were doing before. Por qué esti? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you? definite movement. Me cas casa. Casa. That's home. Okay, so Not chess. Night. Guys, I know piquito, Spanish, a few little words. So that's home at night. Oh, I just felt like a cold breeze just around my legs, not on my face. Like down here where my hands were hanging. Okay. I just feel like all the dolls around Por favor. moving. Not chess. Please, not chess. Buenas noches. It's good night. Stop it. Peros. They're barking. Here, I ask if the response of stop it is relevant to the perros, which translates to dogs, as they had just started to become unsettled, barking loudly again. And a response to follow soon after this would be really mind blowing. Fantastic. Augustina? Perro. Yeah, the dog. Perro means dog. Puedes ver nuestras luces? Can you see our lights? Aquí. Oh, I've got an image. Um, Muchas gracias. It's either buildings in a city or it's like baskets. Maybe baskets with green bottles in them. Or it's like skyscrapers or buildings, but I feel like it's more like baskets. And maybe a red button over here on a basket. Okay. This whole area, guys is farmland. Like all these little islands were man built and they are quite old, but it was built for farming. So maybe the baskets were used with that and maybe city or building, like we're pretty much, we're in Mexico city. Ugh, I... All these dolls everywhere. Dobro. 
how are them apples? Buena. <laughs> I was just talking about farmland. I don't know if they would have farmed apples out here. Puedo tocar a uno de nosotros. Can you touch one of us? And I just want to say I'm getting a, a pain in my back all of a sudden as well just here. Might be because I'm sitting on a bucket. I don't know. I just said, can you touch one of us? Por, uh, gracias. So, cuatro. Four. La Llorona. Oh my God, no. That is definitely relevant. <laughs> La Llorona is the weeping woman folklore in these parts, like haunts of waterways crying and draws children into their deaths. So perhaps that's the what happened scarpy. to the little girl. The scarpy. I'm not sure what that means. It was interesting to receive the response of La Llorona, as it was a crossover of folklore I hadn't considered before. La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, is a vengeful ghost prevalent throughout Mexico. She is said to have drowned her own children after learning of her husband's infidelity. Children are often warned of this spirit around waterways, as she is said to appear crying in a soaked white dress and will lure young children to their deaths in the water. We didn't know this at the time, but the legend of La Llorona is very prevalent throughout Xochimilco, with some believing her origins are linked to the Aztecs, who created these waterways. Could La Llorona be responsible for the victims of this island, especially the little girl who Don Julian found dead in the water all those years ago? I just heard something out here. I can't see. And the dog's going nuts. <coughs> Sounds like someone's crying out there, which freaks me out because he just said La Llorona. I've honestly got no idea what kind of animals dwell out here in the waterways of Xochimilco, but to me, this noise very much sounded like someone crying, a woman even, which again is chilling considering the response of La Llorona. But soon after this, our conversation would take a turn in English and I'd see a shadow person standing beside the door. Do you understand me? Si. <laughs> oh my God, I just saw a shadow by the door. Right where I was just looking. Uh, I just heard someone go, ta da! Hello, English. Okay, so I can speak English to you? Princess. Is that your favorite doll? You want my money? No, that's not why I'm here. I know you've got lots of offerings here. That's not why I'm here. I'm not going to take any of that. You remind me. Of who? Of what? Oh, I got a picture. Uh, four children holding hands, maybe playing Ring Around the Rosie or something like that. Aww. Boy, two girls, two boy, no, three girls, one boy. And there's a man in the distance watching them from afar in the background. Okay. Who is the man? And I just said the word, no hands down. I had my hand on my mouth. Okay, my hands are down. Who is Ooh, the man? I just made the connection as well. I said quattro before, which I think means four, and there's four children here. See? Si? Okay, I'm going to sit down for a sec. Feel oh, a gusto. Off. Oh! Okay, I think that was me, but fuck. <laughs> four children. Gracias. Oh, no, muchas gracias. Uh, Espanol. Okay, let me ask you a question. ¿Es usta una isla buena o mala? Is this island good or bad? Oh my god. Something's moving up here. Is that a dingleberry thing? Don't tell me that's a spider egg sack. Uh, that's just moving. Nombre? Nombre? Mi nombre es Amy. My name is Amy. That is moving. Uh, niños, niñas, nombres, por favor. Boys, girls, names, please. Fossi. Fossi, is that a name? Are you still here? Uh, si, aquí. And I heard someone laughing like, ho, ho, ho. Podrías mover una muñeca? That means, can you move a doll? Blah, blah, si. 
and Boko. Muva Monieka. Por qui? Por favor. Okay, I'm fairly certain this noise was just a bunch of fireworks being set off somewhere, but do you blame me for jumping like that? But now, I'd once again see something like a dark shadow, standing right outside the shelter, just as Jared was receiving another image. Gracias. Oh, I'm getting an image. I swear it's I like just saw something through mm, here. Really quick, dark can't shadow. Can't describe it like a, like pottery or a silver bell or pottery or something like that. It's black and white, but it looks silver to me. Catch me, catch me. I just heard a child say, "Catch me." Uh, si, sí, okay. Una. One. Is there one child here? Cuántas personas? Follow me. I just seen a black shadow dart past this window. Oh, I'm getting another image. Oh my God. These people are here. It's a child on what looks like a, a, a mattress floating in water. It actually looks like the canal has got trees along the back. It looks like a kid floating on a mattress in the water. I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy. Um, they don't look dead though. There's just a kid like relaxed on this mattress. Gracias. Si. Okay, that is very relevant to the whole story of this place. It's not... Follow me. I keep hearing follow me. Okay, I think I saw something out here before, so I'm just going to look. Ames, I'm coming out. Uh, I thought I saw something out here before, Jared. That last image I just got, Ames, is ridiculous. What'd you that see? That was super weird. Oh, I seen, um, I've seen a shadow here at the doorway, and I've seen a shadow through this window that looked like was going across that bridge there. And that's sort of when you got that image. Ames, you gotta see the image. I gotta show you this. Oh, yeah, show me. Whether what I had seen around the island of the dolls was a trick of the eye or not, I was feeling very unsettled. But add to this the responses we had received through Jared, and then the images he was about to show me that had come through Ghost Tube Seer, in particular the final one, which very much looks like the area of Xochimilco. I was truly scared, but I travelled here to look for the truth. Was there a reason I had seen shadow like figures? Was this part of the hide and seek game we'd earlier embarked on? So we'd now try to locate Kate, what I had seen. That SCS was weird and I'm gonna move over towards the sort of magic uh, witchcraft hut. The witchcraft hut? <laughs> the magic hut because it just felt like similar to the ghost tube responses that we had from I just feel like we're playing hide and seek at this point. The whole follow me thing. Yeah so let's use ghost tube SLS so it's looking at these dolls on this tree freaky as all heck. I am going to be, need to be careful because if they look human enough, it's going to map them as a figure. But it doesn't mean they're haunted necessarily. No, it doesn't mean there's a spirit inside them. It just means that the algorithm from this app is saying this is a human shaped figure. So but it's if, doing its job. Yeah, exactly. But if we get a figure in this clearing, for instance, that's scary. <laughs> Hola. Mi nombre is Jared. Amy. Mi nombre es Amy. My name is Jared. My name is Amy. Are you here? Oh, what? This tree just touched me. Sorry. Oh my god. Can we not? <laughs> okay, this is really freaking freaky. That does look scary on the thing. <gasps> There's a person in there. We just got a human shaped figure, but I'm gonna try and replicate it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's replicatable. If it's replicatable, then I think it is probably a false positive. Unless you can run at me. Is that a f***ing duck? Sign up for haunted dolls, not f***ing ducks. <laughs> Jesus. Can you show yourself to us? Oh my God, look at this big daddy. Big spider. Oh, see that little guy? Right, can you show yourself? Hola. Where are you? 
Jared, you got light shining out your ass. What? <laughs> my torch on? Yeah. All right. Where is the spirit? Holy crap. I think I'm going to have to censor <gasps> this just... baby. Get back, get what? back. Massive. Holy crap. <laughs> Ew, massive spider. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I almost walked right into that. So this is the witch's den, right? Well, I don't know. We just kind of named it that. <laughs> Do you see anything in there? No. Jared, stay still. You have a big red mark on your neck. Where? Where? Just here. What is scratch, grab, rope burn? Yeah, when I said um, I asked them to touch you during the Estes and you, you had a sore back <laughs> right after that. Why would you do that? I, was, I did have a sore back then too. Let me see the rest of your neck. No, nah, rest is good. It's just that one. I'm not seeing anything on this. I'm not getting much. Real. I'm surprised the dolls aren't triggering it as much as I thought it would. I mean, that one is, but I mean, that's obvious. It's because they're all mutilated. We're not sure what Jared got this mark from, though I do not have any footage of him touching his own neck. He well could have. But with not much coming up on Ghost Tube SLS, we decided to swap things up using a thermal imaging camera and rolling Ghost Tube Vox to see if we could get any verbal communication going. And let's try Vox now because maybe we'll have better luck. I've also set up the thermal camera. Do you hear like a rock being thrown? Yeah. Against the wall? Yeah, the, there was a tap on this wall for sure. I've got a thermal camera right outside that door there, so it should see me. <laughs> the thermal camera. The thermal camera. Hola, hello. Mi nombre es Jared. Mi nombre es Amy. We'd like to have a talk. We'd like to talk to you. Hablas español or English? Hablas English? Uh, we... We are. That doll is spinning. Who's touching the doll? Mova Moniacas, por favor. It's spinning to look at me. Gracias. Oh my god. It is moving. I can see it its in the silhouette. Its eyes look so f***ing creepy, oh Jared. God. Oh, and it's upside down. Muchas gracias, muñecas. Muchas gracias, muñecas. Is it looking at me now? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, uh, nombre? Where are you? <laughs> All the dogs are, dogs are just going crazy out there. You can hear them. Puedes compartir tu voz con nosotros. Can you share your voice with us? Can you describe what we look like? Quantas personas hay aquí? How many people are here? Is there someone outside? Who's behind you? Yeah, outside, there's a door there. Puedes hablar con nosotros. Can you talk to us? Is the doll moving still? Yeah. It could be natural, but... Okay, let me ask it to move the doll. Podrias mover una muñeca. Can you move the doll for us? I think, I feel like it's rotating back that way to you. Yeah. I don't know what that said. Do you have a message for us? Tienes un masaje? Para nosotros. Can you come near us? My god, my eyes have adjusted to the dark now and I can just see this doll's eyes looking at me. It's, it's looking right at you, Jared. Can you move the doll? Podrias mover una muñeca. ¿Cuál es tu juguete 
Favorito, what is your favorite toy? Porky Sigias Aki, why are you still here? <gasps> I thought I heard a young girl cowering. Like, <gasps> did you hear that? On this? I reckon it'll be on the mic. No, not on that. Out there. I didn't hear. It. I reckon that the mic would have captured that. <gasps> Hola. Can you share your voice with us? <gasps> can I point the thermal cam out there so I can see if it's gonna- Yeah, I'm gonna just cut Vox. Let me just point the thermal camera over there because I heard noises definitely. You can definitely hear some city noise. I can hear uh, dogs barking, but I just heard branches break. That is on the island with us. I have a major chill down my spine. That's coming from... <gasps> That was a branch that on was right literally next to this us. tree, yeah. <gasps> hey, let me just point the thermal over there now. Oh, that tree right there. <gasps> oh, that is freaky. Well, all of them are really. Yeah. <gasps> what Did was you that? hear metal scrape? What was that? Really? Yeah. <gasps> Really? Yeah. Wasn't that? It was like metal scrape, scraping. Yeah. We really weren't sure what had made these noises, but wanted to continue our investigation on a different part of the island, so we moved back to Hut 13, the place where Julian officially called home. How are you feeling there, Ames? Um, like I'm sitting in a bloody cabin filled with creepy ass dolls who I can see staring at me and smiling at me. So Amy's currently in room 13 or the room where the owner of the island used to sleep and live. Puebas habla con mujer. Can you go talk to that woman in there? Por favor, danos una señal de que estás aquí. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Give her a sign. <gasps> oh, shit. I said give her a sign, not me a sign. What happened? I don't know, something splashed in the water, maybe a fish, but it scared the shit out of me. Can you give her a sign? Mojeras, the woman. <gasps> oh, <sh> oh, sh <gasps> Donde estas, where are you? Guys, I also have my lucid headphones on so every noise is amplified and I'm recording it for you. Can you go up and touch one of the devices? Touch. Uh, touch. Oh, I just said that. I said, can you go up and touch? And the tripwire all lit up. I just said, can you go up and touch? And I was going to say one of the devices in that room with her. I uh, got a name, Raul. Raul? Yeah. Could that be the crying doll? Why is the doll crying? Why is she sad? Bring it to me. Threat. So we got bring it to me and threat when I was asking about the doll, why she's sad. I'm just taking some photos in here. On your phone? Yeah. There's definitely a chill in here now. What was that? Something again in the bushes and or water. <gasps> oh, and I just got ringing in my ear. <sighs> Leorona? That's a common folk folklore here, right? Yes. That's the weeping woman. Oh, that gives me freaks. More headers? I'm so freaked out. 
There's footsteps or something over there. Hang on. Hola? Hola? This area is freaking me out, Ames. I'm hearing like stuff in the water and bushes right next to me. Oh, I forgot to tell you there were birds in there earlier. Are you f***ing kidding me? At least one. What is wrong with you? Uh, it's not nesting in there though, it was just in there. And with that last comment about the birds, I was done in this room. And at this time, I decided we should head back towards the shrine to continue our investigation, as it had felt like the place with the most energy to me so far this night. But we also set up a Still Goes to Bessalus camera to monitor the area where the young girl and Don Julian's grave marker sit, just for figures and any other type of activity. And we are back in the shrine room. I would like to talk to Augustina. Oh, you know, I feel like during the um, Estes, I said Augustina. I feel like that means August. Yeah, it does. And I feel like that's maybe the masculine, but Augustina might be the feminine of August, which was when she was found, and I believe that's why she's named that. Well, yeah, you've got Augustus, like Augustus Gloop, and then Augustina. <laughs> Augustus. So there's a male version and a female version. You know what, Jared? Speaking of Augustus Gloop, we had more trigger objects than just the dolls we bought as gifts. What else did we get? The chocolate. We have chocolate? I got you some local candies. I like trying local candies. This one is for you. Cranky. <laughs> I'm not f***ing cranky. <laughs> I thought it suited you really well. <laughs> Actually, I was pretty mean to you a few episodes ago and some people weren't happy. Yeah. That. My bad. I do and get I... cranky when I'm hangry and when we've been filming for a long time. I got panditas. I think they're little pandas. They're like gummy bears. Uh, we're going to try them. Hang on, let me try these. They're for the ghosts. Oh. <laughs> That's why I get f***ing cranky. <laughs> Oh, they're like chocolate, like Coco Pops wrapped in chocolate. Give me one. Yeah, right, good. Let me try yours now. Panditas. Mm. I like this doll just hanging out back here. <laughs> yeah, these are just gummy bears. Another one? Yeah, gummy bears. That's good though. Alright, let's go back to it now. Hola amigo is Cranky K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> the ghost is probably like one cranky. <laughs> one orna. You ate it, that was for the ghost. Oh. I'm gonna put these down by the lights. There is someone here who knows how to speak English, I know it. I'm just saying, if ghosts don't eat that, I'm picking them up and taking them with us when we leave. That's so rude. Where's the, where's the panditas? <laughs> I don't know. In my pocket. Oops. Amigo! Amigo! I just said amigo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're for you, amigo. Can you light that little amigo up? Uh, Tuca Paquito Amino de Luz. What does that mean? Touch little friend with light. <laughs> right. I, I think. <laughs> I'm trying my... I've really been trying to learn Spanish. Tuca, please touch, por favor. Tuca muñecas, por favor. Please touch the dolls. Especially these ones that we left. That'd be very nice. Es muñeca número uno. Is this the first doll? I know there's someone here that can speak English because you spoke to us earlier. Can you enter this circle with Amy? Can you cross this line? Can you touch one of these devices? Just as you said this, there was all movement behind me on the wall. Hola. Can you talk with this device in my hand? Don Julian? Are you here? Should we show them the witchcraft doll? Yeah, all right. So there is this doll down here that is a so it's the only one allowed on the island that is associated with witchcraft. I do not know its story or anything. I just know it's the only one. I believe its name is Faustus. Yeah, we were told today that when the uh, people came and did witchcraft here, they 
they decided to keep this doll and let it stay and people like make offerings to it now and stuff. Can you tell us about this doll? Uh, Brujas. What's Brujas mean? Witch? I think it's witch, yeah. Hola, Fosters. Brujas. Brujas. Is that what you heard on the wall before? Yes. It's like something's crawling around the walls. Although we did not get anything else within the shrine room, there is one final piece of footage I'd like to present. This was captured on our Still Ghost Tube SLS camera left near the grave marker for Julian and the little girl. It shows a small but full figure appear for a single frame near the shore, with a second figure appearing 11 seconds later in nearly the same position. This is intriguing as the figure appears just two times throughout the entire session. However, I do feel it could be mapping a doll blended into the background as a branch blows across that area. So I'll leave this one to you to decide. Do you think it could be a childlike figure captured or just pure coincidence? But that concludes our investigation of the haunted island of the dolls in Mexico, a place so chilling it is known worldwide and is somewhere we won't soon forget. But if you have enjoyed watching, please remember to like the video, leave a comment and make sure you are subscribed with all notifications turned on for this channel as we have plenty more content on the way. Starting with our next video, filmed at one of the most haunted places in Ireland, a jail with punishments so gruesome they make you sick to your stomach, and a dungeon where I'd spend the night alone and experience truly terrifying moments. You won't want to miss our next paranormal investigation at the infamous Wicklow Jail. And that's it. That is Doe Island, guys. Doe Island <laughs> wrapped up. I'm really happy because last time we came here, we were on the island for like 10 minutes. I, I did was, make a video. But I was cranky. So we Jared had to leave. was cranky and he's like, we need to leave. Anyway, so we were on here for 10 minutes. So it means the world to me to be able to come back and actually investigate this place at night. And let me tell you, there's a totally different vibe here it at is, night. It is, it's really cool. I'm actually glad too. It was actually, I think it was more fun this time. Yes. <laughs> last time I was stressed. We didn't know what we were doing. You know, we just didn't speak the language. We, we'd never traveled really before. It was the beginning of our trip. This time I think we're well traveled now. We know how to handle ourselves in foreign countries, and yeah, it's just and been a lot more fun. And we can, just, we've just been a bit more, a lot more relaxed. Yeah, and we know how to investigate now. I would say True. we've got more equipment. We we've got multiple film. cameras. I, I mean, what the heck? We've got yeah. lighting. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we've got so much stuff in us. So it was really cool to come back and do this place justice. Yeah. Right. Well, my original video, if you've ever seen it, oh my God, do not go back and find it. We went for like two minutes. Mm. And it came to all the way to Dot Island and made a two minute video. So I'm pumped. Like, I can't wait to edit this one. I feel like when I have investigated in uh, places where I don't speak the language, when I edit, I always seem to pull more out because I can look up translations, I can research better. And yeah, so I can't wait to see what else we can pull during editing from yeah. this one. But I feel like the, the seer and the ghost at the beginning were probably the best bits, hey? I agree. I feel like the activity like it's gotten less creepy throughout the night and we got some spanish responses as well yeah so we good. definitely did and i don't know a lot of spanish but i know enough that i'm like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> i can order a starbucks coffee now in full spanish and i can even ask for oat milk wow so exotic going to starbucks jared leave me alone <laughs> Anyway, I We're do. We're trying. Just, we are trying. I do want to just call out as well. This is the first one we filmed on this little trip, so we are jet lagged. We only flew in a couple of days ago, and yet yeah, it's late. And yeah, we're, we're both really tired, but I, I think we were pumped tonight. I feel like we we're in a yeah. relatively good mood. I don't think I got that cranky off camera. No. I think I've been pretty well behaved we're tonight. okay. Anyway, I do just want to say, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see us go other places, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It also means the world to us. You can read more about this place on my website, amyscrypt.com. And the blog was one of the original ones you wrote years ago. It was, ago. it was. Uh, follow us on all the social media platforms at, at Amy's, Amy's Crypt. Crypt. Patreon YouTube Patreon members, videos. we actually filmed two Patreon videos. Yeah, we filmed a on video. This on this. We filmed a video on the boat on the way here. And we filmed a video during the daylight to give you a sort of a little tour of at least half the island anyway. So. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.